Now let's paint the head. So I want the head to stand out a little bit. So I don't want it to be exactly the same sort of met metal as the, these rough horns. And so we can use a different image ink if we want to. So let's come in here and let's grab maybe this metal 11. Okay. And then we can come in maybe from the UV view and just start to got our image ink. Okay, got all that selected. Um, start to drop this in. And so just as a base, we'll kind of bring this up here. I'm just getting the scale the way that I want it. And then I can come in and start to bring this in. So let me set this to 100% opacity. And I want to make sure that I set the color. Set the color to white. Okay. There we go. And I can start to kind of paint this in across the surface. It just gives us a kind of a finer kind of a flake or, or detail in it. And so I can just paint this across here. Come in and there's a little bit of shading in this, so the tiling we can kind of just move this around a little bit more than we did the other piece. Okay. And again, whatever we do here, we want to make sure to do on the other side if we're not painting in our 3D view. We're not using symmetry here. You can go ahead and just paint over any openings like this. It's not going to matter. You just don't want to concentrate on the open areas because that's not going to be applied to anything. So we'll come in here and just paint through this. If you want to get a bigger brush size, make it go a little bit faster, um, you can certainly do that. I'm going to go ahead and do this side now. All right, so we've got that painted up. and go back in and, uh, and kind of take a look here. In some of these areas on the seams, we can come back in and kind of fill those in from the front. Just kind of dropping down a, a base coat here. Kind of come across the top and kind of do the same thing. And down across the back, just where the seam is. Kind of come around to the back. And just paint through this. Okay. I can start to uh, kind of darken up areas. So I'll go to the paintbrush. I'll just get a soft brush and we'll choose black and get a lower intensity maybe. Come in here and start to add some detail, for instance, under the eyes. And I want to be the I want those to be blacked out. So I'll come in and actually paint those black. right along that detail in the normal map. Okay, and we can start to layer on here. So we could use the procedural brush, get kind of a gray and maybe a low opacity. And maybe a little bit lower than that. If I wanted to make this a little bit more gray, start to come in here and knock this down a little bit. Okay. Same thing down here. And then we can also start to layer on more of those um, image inks that we had there. So it just depends on the look that you want to get. We could go back here and choose another image ink. Make sure you have your nozzle on, by the way. And so we can come in and select maybe this metal tin that we used and at a lower percentage here we could start to add that into the mix a little bit I come in around here 
and just start to blend these together. So you can use a combination of images or you can use, if you have one image that you want to just use completely, then you could do that as well. Let me undo that so I'm not having to cover up that line that I made there. So we'll come in and just kind of cover this up a little bit more. Again, paying just paying attention to the scale of it. Come in across here. Again, being aware of the tiling. Okay, and just get it kind of looking the way that you want it. And make it a little bit more on the gray side than that tan. Maybe add some little scratches from one of those other, other image inks and so forth. And then come in and start to add the dirt and the grime and things like that. Again, just thinking about the scale as far as how big your image is related to your model here. So we can come in and just kind of paint through this with a couple of different image inks, blending them together. Now this is a projection, so we want to stay pretty straight on with the, you know, when we're painting through this. We don't really want to paint through anything that's sort of at a shallow angle or a greater angle away from us. So you don't want it to sort of streak. Okay, if you want to, you can come in in your UV view once you've got kind of started there and go ahead and continue that process here in those areas that you can't really see as well. Move it up here, let me do it, same thing. <laughs> 